Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a great Thursday. I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff, and here's an update on this major system that comes in over the weekend. We are going to get everything from winter weather to severe weather and the possibility of tornadoes all in a matter of about a couple of days. First of all, today, yeah, temperatures weren't as warm as I quite expected. In fact, I was ringing the bell for the Salvation Army at the Fayetteville Sam's Club, and I can tell you, it did not feel like close to 60 degrees today. Cloud cover and the wind made it feel more like the 40s. It was a cold day, and I saw a lot of people wearing uh, T-shirts and said, Dan, I thought it was going to be warmer than this, and that cloud cover really made it feel a lot cooler. You add the wind, which was rather strong out of the south, and that made for a chilly day on this Thursday. In fact, look at the wind gusts in Rogers, 37 miles an hour, with a wind gust near 30 in Fayetteville and exceeding 30 miles an hour in Tahlequah and Grove. So there's the cloud cover. It was abundant today. We had the sunshine try to peek out for maybe a couple of seconds, but that did not happen. All these clouds are in response to a very large weather system that is organizing off the west coast of the United States. It's showing up beautifully on the water vapor. You can see the snowfall that's coming down as well. This is in sections of the northern plains, the Dakotas. Air, cold air has infiltrated that area and as we check out off to the west on the west coast there is that large low pressure system organizing an impressive system with a very stout jet stream and that's going to be moving in over the weekend bringing uh, quite a bit of changing weather conditions for us and I'm going to take you through all of them so there is that low it's associated with that digging trough of low pressure on the west coast and it's diving south southeast you can see the jet stream energy and the lift ahead of that system just to the east of the low see those brightening clouds as we check out the national picture that's going to be the big weather story this weather system on the west coast is going to be a major headline maker for several reasons first of all we're going to get significant snows in Kansas as well as Missouri with this system. That will extend up into Chicago and Illinois in the Great Lakes region. That's going to cause lots of travel headaches if you are planning to travel. The farther north you go, the worse it is with that band of snow. Cold front now extending through central Kansas as well as uh, Iowa and northwestern Missouri. And it is dropping south. But the future track has definitely backed off on the cold air. Remember a few days ago it was showing upper 20s by Friday morning? Uh-uh, not happening anymore. In fact, we'll be in the 50s. I'm not going to say that's going to be warm with the wind. It's still going to feel a little cool. But relatively speaking, temperatures in the upper 50s, way above where we should be this time of the year. So here's our future track starting off tomorrow morning. First of all, notice the area of showers. And I'm going to change the color on this telestration. But uh, notice the area of showers in uh, sections of northwest Arkansas. We're going to get a little bit of light rain. It's going to pick up a little bit by Friday afternoon, especially down to the south in the River Valley. Now watch what happens, though, Friday night into Saturday morning. All of this area, as the lift comes in, will really start to produce some heavy rain. And this is the start of it. Notice the lack of freezing precipitation over northwest Arkansas. I think there could be some freezing drizzle in northeastern Oklahoma southeastern Kansas for sure. Northwest Arkansas I think is out of the mix for winter weather on Saturday but not completely for the entire event. So Saturday morning watch this rain expand and become really heavy and another area that we are focusing on is central and southern Arkansas as a potential for significant severe weather is a possibility especially in the Little Rock area south of Fort Smith you'll see that severe weather risk map but Saturday early afternoon into the late evening is going to be that window for severe weather you can see the strong storms and the heavy rain just continuing to inundate northwest Arkansas and the River Valley then we get this thing called the dry slot and you can see the dry slot showing up just beautifully on the future track and what that dry slot is is that's extremely dry air that's wrapping around the southwestern sections of this low uh, northwest of the dry slot you get very heavy snowfall which is exactly what the future track is showing and within the dry slot you could see thunderstorm activity in this region in northwest Arkansas watch it fill back in so there's that dry slot filling back in and now you can see that freezing line is well north of northwest Arkansas on Sunday morning however there could be just a little bit of a wraparound that develops in northern sections of Benton County but it's not going to be enough to cause a white Christmas, uh, at least 
that is the case as far as until Christmas. I'll explain that in just a second. But as we check out the future track here, you can see the rain coming down. Temperatures will hover in the upper 50s, but the cold front has already moved into Benton County. That's why temperatures dropped into the 40s. Then we fall even more, upper 30s to lower 40s on Friday. Here comes that heavy rain, and we're talking 2 to 3, possibly as much as 4 inches in isolated locations. And notice this area. Uh, future track showing thunderstorm activity just to the east of the River Valley or east of Fort Smith in the River Valley in Johnson County as well as Logan County. Some of these storms could uh, be embedded supercells within a line and they will have the potential to rotate due to the strong wind shear. Then you'll see central Arkansas light up with heavy storms as well as some severe weather potential. Then as we move throughout the rest of the future track, you'll notice that there's a potential for just a small little brief window of a, a wintry mix and that's going to be on Sunday early morning into the afternoon and I think this is shifting farther and farther north as the track of that system will be away from us. So there's that severe weather threat at the moment. The Storm Prediction Center issuing what we call a convective outlook for day three. It does include the potential for tornadoes. Those tornadoes will be most likely in the central and southern sections of this risk area and that warm front will be positioned literally slicing right through uh, north central Arkansas, probably not making it that far north. I think the, uh, the warm front, let me redraw that, warm front will be extending uh, just to the east. It will include uh, Little Rock and then the cold front will be southwest of that. So the warm sector will definitely be in the vicinity of uh, central and southern Arkansas. Now as we check out flash flooding potential, you can see a flash flood watch has been issued for all of northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, the entire county worn area of the Tulsa Weather Service. This goes midnight Saturday until midnight Sunday, so basically the 24 hour period of Saturday uh, into uh, very very late Saturday night into early Sunday. So. What's the four W's? What do you need to know? Well, we're going to break it all down for you here in this extended, detailed weather update. First of all, this is what you need to know. What is the threat? Flooding rain is likely two to four inches possible, especially with some isolated locations. Wind damage with tornadoes in southern sections of the viewing area, as well as central Arkansas, if you're doing any planning, if you're planning to travel to Little Rock. A wintry mix for northwest Arkansas on Sunday is not out of the question, although the latest computer model shifted that track now even farther north, which means less winter weather for us. I don't think this is going to be a big weather system uh, as far as winter is concerned, wintry weather on Sunday. Severe weather likely on Saturday, especially for areas to the south. Heavy rain starts Saturday morning. The heaviest of that rain will be in the River Valley. Severe potential will be for the southern half of Arkansas and that wintry mix the farther north you go. Why will all this occur? Well, you saw the strong low pressure system to the west, a warm front with instability and strong low level wind. So that's an eight minute update here on the forecast. There's a lot that's going to be going on and it will affect your travel plans if you plan to travel north. Kansas City could pick up on that snow. Joplin as well. Springfield. It's all going to be in the uh, wintry mix area and in River Valley we're talking about severe weather potential. Now the reason I said the possibility of a white Christmas, the computer models have now introduced another weather system coming in Christmas Day in the evening that could pro provide a little bit of light snow but I'm gonna say this it's a ways out it's six seven days out a lot can change as with this system coming in over the weekend I'll keep you up with the latest but until then keep it here with your Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority and we'll keep you advised